All right, by this point, you should have selected a CRM, right? Again, you can go through demos. You totally should have picked the one you like the most, the one that you're actually going to use because it's so important that you use it daily. You should be living in your CRM. It should be actively working for you. If you're investing dollars in it, treat it like an employee and set everything up uh, in order for it to do that for you, okay? So let's talk about how to set up your CRM for success. Whether you're a new agent or experienced agent or broker, you should take your entire phone book. All right, I know you can do this on iPhone. I believe you can do it on Android as well. Just do a quick Google search. You're gonna export your entire phone book to a CSV file, okay? So Google it, look it up. I'll try and link something in here on this video notes on how to do it at least minimally on iPhones. You're gonna export into a CSV and then you're either gonna upload directly to your CRM or you're gonna to email to your CRM support staff, their uploading team, whoever it is, find your contact and have them upload your entire phone book into your CRM, all right? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to have to invest some time here and you're gonna go through all of those contacts and make sure the, their profiles are accurate, okay? So you're gonna do your best to have an updated phone number. If you can get an email for every person, that's wonderful. If you have their addresses, please have their addresses. If you're in my area or you're in an area where you have access to Remind, you probably wanna invest time eventually or hire a VA or um, you know an assistant to go through Remind and look all these people up and pull as many addresses as you can to get them in the CRM. And then you're gonna make sure that they are tagged and staged appropriately. So typically a stage is going to be like sphere of inf, it's probably be short in a sphere. Uh, it's gonna be like prospect or hot prospect. Then it's gonna be like lead, um, contract, um, closed, something like that. You gotta always make sure that that stage is updated appropriately so that, you know, for example, contract, um, you know, contractor pending stage items, you're going to get, you should set it up to get reminders, you know, at least weekly to stay in contact with those people. Um, so make sure your stage is updated and appropriate. And then I would strongly encourage you to make sure people are tagged appropriately. Um, you can go as in depth as you want on this, but as long as the stage is right, you know, the first most important step is you need to go through and identify whatever you want to call it, your VIPs, your mavens, your hot 100. Um, this could include family. Um, you may have a separate tag for family, but the, you know, Maven's hot 100, um, your VIPs, those people are so important, okay? Like these people can't, you gotta make sure they're tagged so they never miss an invite to one of your events. They get every single update, newsletter, whatever. Hot 100, your Mavens, your VIPs absolutely need to be tagged. Um, because hopefully you're going to integrate your CRM eventually with a email service such as I use MailChimp. You could also use Constant Contact. And if the, your CRM and your um, uh, email service are integrated, then like you know, I send emails or my director of operations sends emails to VIP specifically. Like she can just pull that when she's you know trying to send an email to a list. So um, quick recap: export your phone book. Make sure as many of those profiles are up to date as possible. You know, eventually when you have time, either personally or hire a VA or an assistant or something to add as many addresses as you can. Hopefully you will eventually integrate your CRM with HomeBot or utilize HomeBot so you can send those people monthly value reports. That's why I'm telling you to get their addresses. Uh, make sure they have an updated stage and make sure they have an updated tag, right? You minimally, absolutely have to tag your VIPs, Mavens, or Hot 100s. I'm using three terms to talk about the exact same thing. Just pick whatever your favorite term is there and use it.